Want to learn how to add a preview camera on your avatar? Well let's work on that. Hello everyone my name is Randomly and today we are going to be adding a preview camera on your avatar. Before we get started on this tutorial, I want to give a shout out by these two individuals, Smash Her for showing me how to add a preview camera and Lyama for making the Unity package and making this video possible. Please go check out their information in the description below and give them all love and support. Now let's start this tutorial. First thing you need to do is go in the links below and download the Lyama avatar camera package. Which I am going to download real quick, locate the package and drag it into your assist which you will have two items to import. To make things organized, locate a spot where you are going to keep your preview camera, in this case I will place them in my tools folder and make another folder called avatar camera. There you can drag the script avatar camera and a shader called quad asset large bounds. Once you drag the two files into the folder, go ahead and create another folder called materials, this is important because we are going to need it soon. Once you have that all set up in the asset folder, we can now start building the avatar preview camera. Please follow these steps very carefully because you might run into problems at the end if not done correctly, start by creating four game objects in your hierarchy, make sure you are not creating the game objects directly on your avatar. Here we are going to rename each game object, the first one will be cam container, the second will be shader, third will be preview, and last will be main camera. After that, set all the game objects positions to zero. Once done, highlight the shader game object and here we are going to add a parent constraint by clicking on add component. Open the settings and go ahead click on is active and lock. Open the sources by clicking the plus and here we need to locate the head armature of your avatar. Once you found your head, drag the head armature into the sources. There you can program the transform position by unlocking and lock in the settings. Now highlight your main camera and this time we are going to add a position constraint. Same process like last time with the shader constraint. After you got your constraints done, you can now combine your game objects together. Shader to cam container, preview to shader and last the main camera to cam container. Highlight the preview and set the position to zero because now it's in the shader, finally you can now highlight the main camera and create a new camera. Go ahead and set the camera to the front of your avatar and rotate the Y axis to 180 degrees, it doesn't need to be perfect because we'll adjust it later. If you have a main camera in your project, go ahead and hide it to make things easy. Once you have your camera set up, now we need to add 4 important layers, highlight your preview and click on layers, there we can now add new layers. In layer 9 will be player, layer 10 will be player local, layer 12 will be UI menu, and finally layer 18 will be mirror reflection. Make sure you spell and capitalize each layer correctly, Link will be in the description below if you want to add all the layers but I highly recommend that you focus only these four specific layers. After you type down all the layers you need, go back to preview and set the layer to UI menu. Now let's work on the preview settings, set the scale to 0.01 on all the axis. Add a component and first we are going to add a mesh filter. There you can drag the quad asset large bound into the empty slot, then you can drag the quad into the materials folder. Add another component and this time we are going to add a mesh renderer. Cast shadows set to off and uncheck receive shadows. Light probes and reflection probes set to off, and finally uncheck the dynamic occlusion. Up next is setting up the camera settings. In the clear flag, set it to solid color. Click on the background and there you should get a pop-up of the color wheel. In the hexadecimals, you need to manually type down a specific color. 030303. That should be the color black, do not change or move the color wheel because it will not work correctly. Next in the culling mask, set it nothing, then click the culling mask again set it to mirror reflection. 
in the clipping planes, set the near to 0.01, and the far set to 5, because we don't need the camera to render extremely far away from the avatar. Set the HDR to off. Set the MSAA to off, and uncheck the occlusion culling. Finally delete the audio listener. Now let's work on materials. Click on your material folder and right click to create a render texture, rename the render texture to camera texture. Right click again in your materials folder and create a new material, rename the material to preview material. Once you created your materials, go to the shader and locate the Lyuma shader and set it to the avatar camera mod 6. We'll mess around with these settings later. Highlight your camera texture and make sure the dimension is set to 2D, set the size to 1024 by 1024 and finally set the anti-aliasing to 2 samples. Highlight your preview game object and drag your preview material in the element mesh renderer. Scroll down to the shaders and open the settings of the Lyuma shader, and then you can drag your camera texture to the empty texture spot. And finally highlight your camera and drag the camera texture into the target texture. Now let's fix some little details and some settings before we do a build test. Highlight your camera and in the culling mask, set it to default. There in the corner of my screen we can see my avatar in the camera preview, what you need to do is set the camera in a specific spot, what I like to do is eyeball the camera preview and pretend my arms are straight up or in a complete T-pose. This is important so we can prevent the camera from clipping your arms or legs. Give a good space for your avatar to move the arms. So play around with the camera until you find a good spot for your avatar. In the camera's position, never move the x-axis, only move up or down, forward, or backwards. Once you think you found a good spot, Go back to the culling mask and turn the default off. You can always turn on and off when you are doing little setting adjustments. Now highlight your preview game object and scroll down until you see additional show condition, this setting really depends on what you have your VR view. If you are desktop or using a VR set, you need to set it to whatever your condition is showing. In this case in the VR view, I set mine to my right eye which I set it to desktop or right eye VR. Then I feed the VR view into my OBS which I have stream labs. Again this really depends on what you're using and what OBS you use to have your preview camera to show. Once you have your conditions set, go ahead and drag your camera container onto your avatar and give it a build test. Now on VR, as you can see my preview camera is way far off and it kinda seems small to me. This is where you can go back to Unity, set the camera to default and play around with the camera offset X and Y in the preview, including size the camera however you want. Every time when you do a build test, make sure you turn the camera default off. Once you think you found a perfect spot for your preview, double check by moving your arms up and around to see if there is any clipping. Now that you finally created your own preview camera, the last thing to do is drag your camera container into your avatar camera folder to make a prefab for future projects. When making a new avatar, always make sure you set the constraints onto your head. If you guys made it this far in the video, I wish you all the best of luck out there and get creative. My name is Randomly, and like always, keep smiling for me.